Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this Valentine's Day look for you guys. And it's just a simple, I mean, it's simple to me. It's a halo eye, dramatic lashes, white liner, and a nude lip. Glowy face, that's it. And yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I achieved this look right here. So I'm not going to talk for that long. I'll just go straight into the video. If you want to see how I achieved this look, just keep watching. So I did my brows today off camera. And then I'm just going to use my NYX Jumble Eye Pencil. This pencil is for real like the truth. Dang, you know, I show, I think I showed you guys in this video, in a video before that I'm running out and I'm still running out. I keep forgetting to buy, I don't know, I keep forgetting to buy more. I just prime my eyelids like with this because it makes colors pop more on my like skin color. Then I'm just going to blend this out a little bit. <laughs> Now I'm just going to use this M576 brush from Morphe. And for my transition color, I'm using the Morphe 350 palette. I'm using this orange shade right here. Now I'm going into the Morphe 35B palette. I'm sorry I'm using so many palettes, but this has a more like pigmented like redder red like that's not burgundy and it also has orange too so if you want to just use this palette for this look you can I'm actually add some of this orange to to this yeah this orange is a little brighter I don't know if you guys could see so now I'm using my favorite blending brush the Morphe G17 and I'm going in with this red shade right here And I'm not putting it in my crease, I'm putting it a little above my crease. And I just want this to look really pigmented and bright, so I'm putting on a lot. Like, I'm, um, what's it called? I'm not, like, putting a bunch on the brush, because I don't want it to look harsh, I want it to look blended. But I'm picking up, like, a lot of it the more I need it. If that makes sense. I think I just confused you guys. Now I'm just taking a brush with no product on it and I'm blending the top so it's not like a harsh line by your eyebrow. When I started balling I was young. <laughs> so I did just, <laughs> I just finished this eye off camera and I'm going to keep going with this eye. Going in with this Morphe M518 brush and I'm just going to start putting it like in my crease with this purple right here and we are doing a halo eye as you can see so we're doing it on both inner corners and you want to make sure you keep the purple low don't go like up here and try to mix it with the red and orange because you want it to be like a gradient effect on this eye you kind of can't see the orange anymore because I went too high on the purple so I'm gonna try to not do that on this side so I can show you guys. So I don't know if you guys can see, but you can still see the orange and the red and the purple right there. So that's where I want to keep the purple. So now we're going to go in with this purple shade right here. It's just a darker purple and the Morphe 35B palette. And I'm just doing like little tiny circular motions with it. I'm just putting in my crease right here, trying to keep it low so it doesn't interfere with the the blend. So now I'm taking this Eco Tools, um, it's like a double-ended brush, and I'm using like this side right here, and then there's like this side. And I'm taking this navy blue color right here, and this is just to like further intensify the purple that I did and darken it a little bit. See how it just kind of darkened it a little bit? I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can. Now I'm just taking the brush I packed on the red with, and I'm blending the top of the purple out a little bit. Now I'm taking this like paint brush I found it at Michaels, and it looks like this. It looks like this, and it's really good for cutting the crease. So now we're just cutting the middle of our lid like this, just so when we put the shimmer on, it'll look more cleaner. I'm taking this other paintbrush. It's like, it was the whole pack. You find it. Oh no, it wasn't from Michaels. It was from Amazon. So it was a, yeah, it was a pack of paintbrushes brushes from Amazon. 
and I'm taking this thicker one and I'm gonna pack on this purple shimmer shade on the outer part of the center and then this light pink shimmer in the center. For the purple, I'm just using my finger. Like this. Now I'm using this pink shimmer shade. And that's it for this eye. We're just going to add lashes. And we're going to add some white liner for your um, waterline. And that's it. So for lashes today, this, these are Coco Lashes in the style NYC. So now we're going to take this NYX white liner. This is the gel liner. Looks like this. I'm taking this teeny tiny, you can barely see, paintbrush from that pack I was talking about. And we're just going to put a little of the white eyeliner on it. Right her, right there, right there. And we're just going to start putting this on the waterline. So for primer, I'm using this Smashbox Primer Water Spray. Oh. I hate when I waste product like that because I spray it the wrong way. Let's try this again. For foundation, I'm using this Fenty Beauty Foundation today. Um, and the shade 360. So it dries fast. It's a matte foundation, so I'm going to be using it in sections on my face. If you're wondering what I'm doing. Totally forgot to highlight my eyebrow on this eye. So what I did is I took, I think I took a shade out of the Jack and Hill palette. Yeah, the Jack and Hill palette. I used this shade and this shimmer shade up here. For concealer today, I'm using my favorite concealer ever, the NARS Radiant. Concealer, this is in the shade Biscuit or Medium. Now I'm just using the Fenty Beauty Blender. I don't even know if that's what it's called. Beauty Precision, Precision Makeup Sponge. Excuse me, not Beauty Blender, Precision Makeup Sponge. There you have it. So if you watch my vlogs, you know I recently found this Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit at Marshalls for $18.99. So I bought it and I'm about to use it today for you guys. So this is what it looks like when it comes out of the package. Honestly, I've never seen one of these. I've never used one of these, so that's what it looks like. I'm going to use this paintbrush right here to kind of glide it down my face. This is kind of dark. Blending this out real quick with this precision makeup sponge. Oh gosh, it's looking kind of weird. So now I'm going to use this Morphe M577 brush to use the Anastasia contour kit to, um, <laughs> that was a long sentence to contour my nose. And I'm using the shade Carob. Carob. Now I'm taking this lighter shade and this medium shade to highlight my nose a little bit. Honestly, you guys, I'm experimenting, so... So what I'm doing, I'm trying to make the bridge of my nose look smaller. So I'm bringing the dark shade in more. And then I'm just going to blend this out with the G40 brush, the sides. So now I'm just going to bronze my face with this Physicians Formula Multicolored Bronzer. And I try to cover it upwards so it kind of like defines my cheekbones. 
kind of defines my smile. Now I'm just going to contour my cheeks with this Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I use just I just use a wedge sponge like a wedge sponge. <laughs> And then I'm also going to bake my nose to make that contour on point. I'm going to bake under my eyes, conceal the baggage. So now I'm just going to dust it off with this Morphe M437 brush. And I take this powder from Maybelline, Maybelline Fit Me, and I use that to just all the translucent powder off and you see how your contour just looks really sharp after you do that now I'm gonna do my highlight I'm just gonna take champagne balm from saucebox cosmetics and I'm gonna spray the brush a little to get the bristles a little damp you guys see this I haven't used this highlight in a long time I'm gonna mix it with Fenty Beauty Trophy Life because I gotta use this in every single look I do <laughs> I'm just gonna use this Morphe brush and I'm gonna use this to highlight my nose with the Fenty Beauty. Totally forgot, but I'm gonna use the Saucebox Cosmetic Champagne Balm to highlight my inner corner of my eye. So now we're just gonna go in with all the shades we use on the top and we're gonna put it on the bottom. So first we're gonna go in with the purple shade. And then now I'm taking the orange reddish shade. So for lips, I'm just doing a nude lip with um, a dark brown lipstick around it. So I'm taking this NYX Simply Vamp lipstick. Uh, I don't know, it just says, I think it's in the shade 1. Then I'm taking this ColourPop lipstick in the shade Naughty. And I just keep adding the colors until I'm content with how my lips look. For setting spray, I'm just using this Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 spray. So this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you liked how it came out. Because I do. When, when I think of Valentine's Day, I think of like purple and reddish colors. And like, stop. <laughs> and I think of looking like really glowy and like my highlights be popping. So that's why I chose this look. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified every time I upload. And to follow me on all my other social medias like Instagram, Twitter. My name is Sadie Zoe. I'll put it right here. Right there. See you guys in my next video. Bye guys.